Hi guys! Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel! Welcome back to our channel! Today guys, magluluto naman tayo ng nilagang baka. So guys, this is not your typical nilagang baka, no? Kasi may mga extra ingredients tayo from our neighboring countries like Korea and um, Japan and China. I think it's Chinese too because we're using sibut. Sibot and we're using anchovy. Yeah, it's surprising, but this is, you know, guys. Typically in Korean and Japanese broth, they use um, for umami. They use dried shrimp or dry, dried um, anchovies for their broth. So we're gonna be making this um, nilagang baka extra special today. So guys, let's start with our meat. No, let's cut our meat bigger than the usual. We're gonna be boiling this for a long time and guys i have one piece of tendon and two pieces of shank they both comes from the leg i think we don't have the actual bulalo but i have the knuckles and they call it um, um knees but they are knuckles and they have a lot of um, cartilage i'm gonna wash them i already washed them but i'm washing them again because i don't want too much scum on my broth so we want the water as clear as possible before we put them in the on the flame so cover them with water extra water don't worry this is going to be tasty because of all the aromatics and the herbs that we're going to put later on so onto your stove medium high heat five to seven minutes we're going to go back and check them out so guys this is what i'm talking about this is dried anchovy in japan and in korea and i think in china too they use dried fish or dried um, small shrimps to make their broth more flavorful. It doesn't at all make your broth fishy. It just gives them so much flavor. You don't need MSG anymore if you use this. And if you have kelp or the thick dried um, seaweed, you boil them together. You could use this broth for your ramen yes that's how you make your ramen broth with these um, ingredients so guys i'm taking away the innards those um hard bones because you don't want them in the in your soup later so we're gonna check out our meat and see all those cums floating we're gonna take it away as much as possible we're not gonna be able to take them all but as we stir it as we boil it there's gonna be a lot more coming out take them as much as possible because if you don't take this out you're gonna end up with cloudy and not so pleasant it's not gonna be a clear broth we want a clear broth here brown clear broth and guys as you stir it maglalabasan pa lahat ng mga yan maraming maraming palalabas dyan so guys scoop them out as much as you can we're gonna wait until it roll boils and makes it clear without the scam and then we're gonna add our next ingredients so guys you need to be patient and take them as much as you can cover them let it roll boils it's gonna come out even more take them all out take as much as you can guys kailangan natin tanggalin yan para sa ating clear broth we want a brown clear broth later now we're going to add now it's clear we're going to add um our onions and our patties as a fish sauce and this is optional guys the use of wine is definitely optional but it's definitely gonna add in so much flavor and this is sibut that's the sibut and rock sugar guys and the dried anchovy without the bones and the uh, guts and one shiitake mushroom guys the flavor that these herbs and spices is gonna bring is um unbelievable a thumb size um ginger and a good amount of whole peppercorns a teaspoon of salt Give it a quick stir, put your lid on, and guys, we're gonna be simmering this for a very long time, guys, two to three hours. Please, guys, do not use your pressure cooker on this one because your aromatics and your herbs, it, guys, it doesn't develop on your pressure cooker. The flavor doesn't develop on your pressure cooker. So check your meat after two hours. It should be like this. Sometimes you need more time. And guys, we used several kinds of meats here so not all of them um, tenderize at the same time so check them one by one these are definitely good so we're gonna scoop them out and i'm going to scoop out the one with the bones first i'm gonna leave the meat out there because i want the bony part on the bottom of my dish and not the 
um, meat because I don't want to crush them. So these are all good. We're going to um, scoop them out. Then we're going to go on the next step. So guys, just look how good looking your meats are. Look how tender they are. They still have a bite on it. It's not that they're going to melt and not be able to chew on them. I don't like that. Look at your tendon. It's almost like a jelly but still have a chew on it still have a bite on it so prepare your calamansi and patis guys and a lot of rice because it's gonna be so good next stop is we're going to strain it a little bit to take the bits and pieces that we don't want strain as you can it doesn't have to be perfect guys you just want most of it um out those bits and pieces just run your scoop run your strainer in it and then guys just take most of it and then we're gonna go on to our next ingredients then the use of potato guys you could just use one but i use two because i'm after the flavor the flavor of two versus one that's what i'm after cover them cover um simmer them for a couple of uh, minutes two to three minutes and then add in your leeks use leeks guys not scallion it has a lot more flavor than scallion and then put in your um corn couple minutes it doesn't take too long to cook them and then you're going to add in your bananas and then your cabbage this is napa cabbage that's preference guys you can use the other cabbage and then cover them up and another five minutes maybe less you should be done Can you try this? Why? I'm cooking soup. So you blow first. It's not hot. It's not hot? Yeah, it's not hot. Is it good? Mm. How is it? Good. One more? Yeah. Okay. Blow, blow. And there you have it guys i hope you liked it i hope you will try it and i hope you will join me again next time thank you very much for um, joining me today please like and subscribe guys enjoy